What is up, my peeps? Welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Pika Virgin. I'm host, of course, Mr. Spinoza X. And in the last episode, we encountered and very lucky capture, very lucky capture of Zapdos, the second legendary bird Pokemon. Man, that was just freaking luck. I I'm telling you guys, I'm not cheating whatsoever. But anyway, um, when you hit that route, you would battle Gary. Like Bear Gary comes out and tells you, like, "Oh, you encounter, you got all the badges and everything. Oh, let's battle before you know you go inside the uh, Indigo Plateau and stuff." And yeah, but I did a little hiccup because you know usually when I begin a before I begin a episode, I would see what Pokemon I could capture in that area. I use the speed up feature from Visual Boy. And I actually went up, and that's how I countered Gary. I was like, whoops, well, my bad. And I just didn't want to restart. So, anyway, welcome everybody to Inside the Pokemon League. Well, we're not exactly inside the Pokemon League. Right now, we're just showing the security guards the our badges uh, that we had won from all eight of the trainers of the Kanto region. Um, and then, after that, do now do we pretty much go to the Pokemon League? Excuse me. We do we go to the Pokemon League after that? No. We actually go to a tunnel known as Victory Road. Yes. Victory Road. Man, it's one of those uh much like the rock tunnel. It's very annoying. It is. It's pretty much one of those where you could kind of get lost easily and you just don't know where to go and everything. But it's not as bad as the rock what the rock tunnel is. Um it's you know, once you pretty much um know what you're doing and you know of course there's also the like these strategy guides or in my video that i'm gonna help you guys out right now um you know pro that's probably why you guys here is like where do i go <laughs> in the victory road and where do i like where's the end to it so yeah um but also not only that the third legendary bird pokemon is actually in the victory road tunnel so we're gonna go ahead and show off that as well and stuff and yeah um again like i always mention in every episode not gonna fight all the trainers i most likely whoa wait where's that where's that guy where is that guy oh he's right there that was weird <laughs> uh, he just like kind of knew we were gonna pass by him <laughs> Uh, that's that's very weird but anyway uh don't worry about this grass because it's pretty much um unless you haven't captured all like the previous pokemon like you just pretty much encounter like a lot of the pokemon um from pretty much just any route you know just like especially the route um going towards uh the viridian forest so yeah but anyway we're almost here showing off our last gym badge which is the earth badge which we won against giovanni and that is it everybody we got past all security guards showing off the pokemon gym badges and now welcome everyone to victory road yes much like you know any type of tunnel this one also has a gimmick to it and i probably should have mentioned this before too Make sure you have a Pokemon that knows strength. Um, if you don't want to teach strength to any of your main Pokemon in your party, always teach it to s another Pokemon from your PC, just like I brought out Snorlax and stuff. Because Snorlax is my go-to uh, Pokemon for strength and everything, so yeah. But after pretty much you do that, you got to move these boulders into these switches. Uh, because if you don't, as you can see right there on top of on the top screen you see that little like light brown pa uh, square right there you won't be able to pass through there until you pretty much move this boulder and then we'll about to see right now and put it in that switch right there so that way it stays there and you'll be able to pass through that path so that's pretty much the gimmick to this gym is I mean this gym to this t to victory road is you know, getting these boulders into the switches and stuff to make your way towards the Indigo Plateau to face off against the Elite Four. Um, so yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, there's we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Just two 
more episodes. Man, this playthrough has been going on forever. Like, literally a year already. Like, it is crazy. This is probably the most longest playthrough that I've probably done in my channel. And uh, maybe you guys are wondering if I'm going to move straight to Pokemon, the second generation Pokemon. No. Uh, I'm gonna take a break from you know any main Pokemon games and just kind of focus on like any other game like any other project and Maybe you know if I'll, I'll do this right now if I reach 300 subscribers on YouTube Then I'll do the next Pokemon game uh, Which I won't talk about um, You just gotta wait and see what game it is pretty much so yeah, but yeah if I reach 300 subscribers um, then I will definitely do the next, the ne se the second gen Pokemon game, uh, which is the third game, um, in that, in that series, pretty much. So yeah, in that, you know, gen generation, I'm trying to figure out, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what, what, what words to put in. So yeah, but anyway, here we go facing off against this cool trainer male who has four Pokemon. And his first Pokemon he'll say that is Divazor. Now this trainer pretty much has all of the second evolutions of the starting Pokemon. So yeah. Um, which is Ivysaur, War Turtle, Charmeleon, and his third Pokemon, I believe it's the third evolution of that Pokemon. Um, of the starter Pokemon. I I forgot which one though. I think I wanna say Blastoise or Charizard? I, I'm, I'm quite not sure. Um, I don't know. But anyway. Um, but yeah, the Victory Road. It's uh, much like the Rock Tunnel. It's one of those really tough tunnels and everything like that. Um, where, I don't know, when I first played it, I got lost. Uh, I'll admit that I got lost. I didn't know where to go. Or I didn't even know how to reach to the third evo the third legendary bird Pokemon because the le third third legendary Pokemon le third legend yeah legendary bird Pokemon is in this tunnel so yeah but there's a certain way to get to it but I'll show you guys how to do it pretty much now like every single uh, you know episode I say. Um, I will not fight all the trainers and um, probably toward like if I if I it depends you know uh, what kind of Pokemon I encounter in this cave or in this tunnel to show you guys uh, what Pokemon you can capture here but I mean there's really not much because you know it's pretty much just the same Pokemon you would ever encounter in any uh, like a cave or a tunnel pretty much and stuff and some of them are also ev are already in their uh, second stage of evolution pretty much so yeah oh it is Charizard okay so I was kind of correct but uh but yeah um, I don't know I, I first time I had a, I had a hard time um, but then I kind of figured out what to do I was like oh okay you know so I got to do this I got to do that it was pretty easy it wasn't really that hard um, it, it's it's one of those toughest but not really the toughest if you get what I'm saying, um, it's whatever. It's, it's <laughs> you could like if you just kind of you know figure out what you got to do, or you look at the strategy guide, or watch someone's video of what to do. That's probably where you guys hear too. Is how do I get through the victory road? <laughs> but anyway, here is another boulder where we have to move to that switch, or else we'll not be able to go towards that path to up there and stuff. So. Now, be very careful where you move these boulders because sometimes you move it at the wrong spot and you won't be able to move it at all anymore. So that's why I'm saying that just follow what I'm doing right now and there you go. That's how you do it. Yeah, because if you trap it in some of the, one of those walls, then that's it. You got to like go back and like you literally got to like just go back down the ladder and then just go back up and you know it'll pretty much respawn to where the previous location it is but anyway here facing off against this black belt which mostly has uh, fighting Pokemon which he will send out Machoke yes Machoke um, which is the evolution of Ma of Machop um, Machoke the only way he have, could evolve to the third evolution is by trade now <clears throat> 
I was actually thinking about this long and hard. It's like I'm reaching towards the end of the game, but yet I still have not captured all of the Pokemon yet. Um, I thought about it because there's just some ways that in order to capture a Pokemon, it's either through the other games or it's through trade, you know. Um, I don't know how to run a uh, emulator through two emulators through trading pretty much you know what I mean like linking them up just like you know how you link up the uh, your two Game Boys and stuff and be able to trade like that like I don't know how to do it in emulators or something or if it's even possible you know uh, so so what I'm saying is I'm not gonna exactly catch them all like I wish I would like they probably could have made it at like that's something I wish they that they do is probably like um, find it ways for to be a little easier to catch them all because that's the whole gimmick of Pokemon is catching them all but only a certain sum in in some of the game depending on what game you're playing so I guess that's the whole point of it. If you want to do it, you just got to interact with others and see if they could trade. So, yeah. Look at that. There goes the... There, that's the ticket right there, guys. That's where we have to go next. But, anyway. Oh, shoot. It propels a frick war ball. So, what I'm saying is I'm not going to capture them all in this playthrough. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, I may or may not. And I just decided not to because there's certain ways just impossible. Um, so as soon as we beat the Elite Four and go to the Cerulean Cave after that, that is it. That's pretty much it. I'll show off the a photo of what happens when you complete the Pokédex and stuff, um, pretty much. Um, there's really not much, like, they don't give you, like, a special item or a special Pokémon if you capture all the Pokémon. They just kind of give you like a certificate. That's pretty much it. And I'll just show you guys off. I'll show it off in the, in the finale of this uh, playthrough. Because we got two more episodes to go, everybody. So, yeah. So, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. Like I mentioned before, I may or may not. But I decided, yeah, just not to. But anyway. Uh, so, yeah, just got that item. Um, and then after that, we go over here. Here, trying to figure out real quick because it's kind of been a while since I've ever been in this cave. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. That boulder is gonna get trapped in that. Excuse me. The I'm sorry. Uh, I just kind of spaced out a little. Uh, spaced out. But anyway, uh, yeah. So what we're trying to do is get a boulder to that because if we switch that switch, then that pretty much. We go to that ladder, and that leads towards the exit of Victory Road. But we wouldn't want to do that yet, because we still got to capture the third uh, legendary bird Pokemon. So anyway, so we're over here. So what you want to do is get this item over here. But first, you got to use the repel. Because you don't want to have to deal with a lot of gold bats now, do you? <laughs> but anyway, um, where's the max repel? Oh, there it is. All right, found it. I really need to clear out some space on my bag because it's getting disorganized. But anyway, I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Hmm, I wonder who that child prodigy is. Hmm, is he wearing a, you know, a red shirt with a hat or something? It's his name Ernesto? I don't know. I, I, I heard about this child prodigy. But anyway, he sends out a level 43 X. Executor, exec. I was gonna call him ex execu, ex like something execution or something. I don't know. Anyway, executor. Um, is actually probably one of the best grass type Pokemon in Generation One. Um, if you don't want to start out, if you don't want to have a Bulbasaur in your team, um, or if you yeah, for like any other game, you know, uh, that you can't get like all three of the starters. Um, Executor is your best bet uh, to be your, you know, go-to Grass-type Pokemon. Uh, because not only he's a Grass-type, but he's also a Psychic-type as well. So he can learn Psychic moves and stuff. So, yeah. So he's he's pretty cool and everything. So, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And anyway, next out, you send out Cloyster. The Cloyster... The, 
Cloister is the evolved form of Shelder, um, which is a sh that Pokemon that's inside the shell that sticks out of his tongue. Yeah, that's Shelder right there. I'm not sure if I captured Shelder yet. I think I did. I'm pretty not sure. I don't know. I sometimes I just kind of lose track of what Pokemon I already captured. Like I don't know. It's just eh. like I don't know. I, I maybe I should do a better job of that, you know? Because sometimes I find myself, oh, have I caught this Pokemon? Oh, let me catch it. No, I already caught this Pokemon. So then I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the PC. I gotta release him and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I find myself doing that a lot in Pokemon games. Like, sometimes I forget. Like, I'm not quite sure if I captured that Pokemon yet. But anyway, level 43 for Arcanine, done. Yes. And the old itch is the evolved form of Growl, like I mentioned, in, when we fought against Blaine in the uh, Cinnabar Island uh, episode. Um, the only way Growl evolves is through the... Um, I think I'm right. I, I no, uh, Yeah, no more items. Yeah, you see? I just really need to take out a lot of stuff that I don't really need anymore. I think once we get to the Elite Four, the only things I'm going to have with me are stuff that I need for facing the Elite Four, pretty much. So, yeah. Max Revive. All right, cool. This That should actually come in handy, pretty much. So, yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and go down here. Um, yeah, you won't be able to move this boulder just quite yet, but, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and use, uh, Snorlax to new strength. Yeah, because, yeah, because that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, have we used strength in this area yet? Uh, that's what I was trying to figure out. All right, let's see. So, what you want to do is actually go to this switch right here. This one can be a little tricky, so I'll show you guys how to do it. But first, let's go ahead and... Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, I think it's that time that we cleared out some space. What is this? Fissure? Mm, do we really need fissure? I'm just going to keep it either way. Um, thunder? Um, which one's this one? Mega Kick? And eh, nah. You know what? I think I'm going to. Which one? I'm going to take out Fish? Wait, what's this one? Metronome? Okay, yeah, good. We, we don't need metronome. We could go ahead and toss that away and everything. All right. Threw away 3M35. Let's see what this is. This is TM47, so it's another TM. Let's see what it is. So let's see. TM47 is explosion. We don't need that one, so we could just toss that as well. Yeah, I definitely need to organize my bag. Luckily, second generation Pokemon, they approved on the bag. Where you don't run out of space. <laughs> Very well more organized too. So that's a good thing. But anyway. So this part can be a little tricky when moving this boulder. Because if you make one false move. And then that's pretty much it. Just have the boulder moved like this. Don't have it all the way up to that wall. Uh, to On the upper side and stuff. So you just want to kind of leave some space for it. Because watch right here. You're about to see right now. You see? If you do that. You see right there? You won't be able to move it down. So that's why I say. Just have some space right there. And then after that. You move it to this hole right here. Don't worry. It's going to fit. Just got to move it right there. Just keep moving it all the way to that wall right there. So I'm just trying. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so pretty much you got to do that and then just go over here and then push it down like that And there you go That's simple as that guys. That's how you move this boulder. Yeah, I uh, I wasn't when I first played this I wasn't very bright of it Like I was all like what am I doing wrong? And then like my brothers told me like you just got to create that space right there. I'm like, oh, okay So yeah <laughs> So after that, you do that, you'll be able to get through this path right here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fight these trainers. They're waiting for me, too. Oh, damn. Repel. Kind of ran out a little quick there, buddy. But that's the, like, that's the better version of Repel, so, yeah. Because I believe for Repel, I think it's 750 steps? I don't... I think so. I'm. I'm. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. All right. So then, what you want to do is move this boulder right here. 
This is the boulder that we use to uh, pretty much use to uh, go use the boulder for when we get out of the uh, victory road, t the, tun the tunnel pretty much. But we don't want to get out just yet because we still have to encounter the third legendary bird Pokemon. So what you want to do is go over here and then after that, there you go. There it, there it is. Guard spec. Okay. But anyway, of course, like I always mentioned before, whenever you're facing a legendary Pokemon, save the game. Just don't forget, save the game. Because you don't want to go through all that, you know, path. You know? <laughs> Once you fail capturing the Pokemon, the legendary Pokemon, and you could just go right there where you left off. Because if you don't save, you're going to go all the way in the beginning. You don't want to have that. But anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the third and final legendary bird Pokemon, Moltres. The fire bird Pokemon. Yes. And of course, Moltres is in the end, tres, which is three for Spanish. So Articuno Uno, which is one in Spanish. Zapdos Dos, which is two in Spanish. And Moltres Tres is three for Spanish. So yeah, that's kind of crazy how po uh, Pokemon uh, Game Freak did that. That is really great, Game Freak. That's clever. Clever. Oh no. <gasps> King in there, Ava. Oh, okay, good. All right. Come on. This. Whoo. All right. Sleep powder worked. All right. Let's go ahead and do this, everybody. We're about to catch your Moltres. Come on. All right. Where is that? Okay. Ultra Ball. Let's go. Oh. 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 I, I, I swear to you guys. I'm not cheating. I'm not using a cheat whatsoever. That right there was freaking luck. <laughs> oh my god. First try. What? I have such great luck capturing these legendary Pokemon. I, I promise you guys. I, I am begging. Like I am. I promise you guys. I am not cheating. I, I am not. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not using any type of cheat, but man, I've had the best luck capturing these legendary Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, that was freaking crazy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo man, that was great. That was freaking awesome right there. <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I, I'm just... Wow. I, I honestly cannot believe that. Like, out of the times playing all these... Like, all of these Pokemon games. Man, oh, man. Dude. Like, it's crazy. It, it, it honestly is. Like, I've been having such best luck capturing a lot of these legendary Pokemon it's freaking just amazing but anyway let's go ahead and move a boulder um, I don't know why we moved that boulder over there let's just go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that <clears throat> and then you're gonna go ahead and move it down create some space like I always mention there you go because if you move it to that wall uh, like that wall right there then yeah you won't be able to move it anymore and what's the point of this boulder right here? Can I? Nope, I can't. I cannot. But don't worry, we're not stuck. Oh, repel wore off. Go ahead and use repel. How many repels do we have left? Uh, four? Okay. Alright, that's fine. Go ahead and use it. Alright. Don't worry, we can just move it out of here. And after that, remember that boulder we dropped down out of that hole? Well, I'm about to show you guys right now. There it is. That boulder's right there. So then, let me see real quick here. Um, try and see if I forgot anything around here. Try and remember. Mm, nope, I'm not. Uh, yep, I think we're good. 
Yep, I think we're good. Okay. I try not to. Oh! Well, that was a failure. Or maybe I did that on purpose because I wanted to fight him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was trying to remember like if there was an item there. I could have sworn there was an item there. But anyway, we're going to face off against one of the jugglers who has a level 48, Mr. Mime, which is a psychic Pokemon, uh, which is pretty much a mime and everything. Um, so yeah, um, man, Mr. Mime was probably the best part of the uh, Detective Pikachu movie. Honestly, <laughs> I just love that scene. <laughs> it was freaking hilarious, dude. <laughs> like, he was actually acting like an actual mime, which I know Mr. Mime is always like, as you know, always has been like a mime, is a mime pretty much. But man, the way he acted in that movie was just hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Mr. Mime should definitely have some more screen time in that movie, if anything. Alrighty. I think. After that, you're done, Mr. Mime. I think that's the only Pokemon that he has, too. If, oh, shoot. I dropped something. All right, guys. We're back. Sorry. I dropped something on accident. But it's all good. But anyway. All right. So after that, yeah, let's go ahead and move that boulder over there. Because that's where we go to go to the uh, Victory Road. As you can see, that little square right there. So you, what you want to do is move this boulder over here so let's go ahead and do just that all right okay cool i didn't have to select nor like see strength all right so just keep moving here just keep moving it forward pretty much and then after that just kind of wait a little to see you know if you know where to pretty much move it next you always want to do that it's just before you know you go to the next step just kind of wait to see okay never mind I think we're, we were good. We were good. And then there you go. And then after that, go over here. And then after that, go to... Mm, oh, that was in that area already, huh? Yeah, I was in that area already. Let's go ahead and go over here. I'll try to remember. Anyway, we are out, everybody. We have made it through. Victory Road. Now it is time. Okay, I don't care about that part. <laughs> We're not in any grass or any danger, so yeah. But anyway, oh, okay. Well, that was a dead end. All right, let's try over here then. Um, okay, I think we, I think we got a good spot. We do we definitely. Oh nope, nope, dead end. Oh oh, pfft, another dead end. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Damn, they're really tricky. Oh, pfft, I keep running to these dead ends. Like these statues just move by themselves. Let's go here. What's over here? No, nothing. Okay. So, oh, what am I doing? I was, I was just here. Oh my God! Stop getting me confused, game. Okay. Ah. All right. Nice. We're here. We are here, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Plateau, home of the Pokemon League. Stay tuned, everyone, for the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Pika Version. Where, in the next episode, we will try and etch our name in history. This has been Mr. Spinoza X saying good night, good morning, good day. Whatever time you guys are watching this video, I will see you guys in the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow.